guys and welcome back to another video my name's Shaquita and if you're new to my channel welcome welcome I know this video kind of looks very different mm -hmm. oh my god 2020 happy new year this is my first video for 2020 and I'm just so excited I don't know what's ahead but I just kind of like feel very strongly that there's something major and something very great that's getting ready to happen in my life and I'm pretty excited about it and I hope you guys are excited about it because I would really love for you guys to be a part of it and celebrate with me and grow with me and evolve with me so yeah intro a little wrong a little long a little long a little, you know a little lazy but you get the point and yeah let's get started on this video so per the title you seen you know um new products that i brought drugstore of course because your girl got to say the coint period with the t on both of those words coint and period okay because that means we serious so let's get it <laughs> Okay, you guys, so right here what I'm doing is just using the spoolie end of the Wet n Wild Brow Pencil to brush up my hairs upward. And then I'm going in with the, I think it's the Ultra Defining Pencil um, version for the Wet n Wild Pencil. As you can see, I'm outlining the brows first and then I am filling them in. And I, I try not to touch the beginning part of my brow because I want it to look very faded. And then I just use the spoolie to just distribute the brow pencil product into my brows. And using a wet and wild photo focus concealer. I am just using that to clean up my brows to give it a more sharp, sharper defining look to my brows. To clean up the top part of my brow, I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso because it's a little bit darker than the Wet n Wild concealer that I use for the bottom part of my brow. I will say the Wet n Wild concealer, I'm a little disappointed in it only because it's very watery. It doesn't have a thick consistency. It's not full coverage under the brow like I liked. Um, so what I had to do is go on top of it also with the LA Girl Pro Concealer just to give me that full coverage look. Now I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try it to see if I let it dry down, if maybe it'll get thicker for me. So what I did was set the concealer under my brow with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Deep uh, Setting Powder, and then I'm using the Believe Beauty. I believe it was called Naturally Nudes palette and I do like this little palette I tend to go to colors like this anyway for my everyday looks and I just use that burgundy shade um, as a transition color and then I packed it on to give it a more deeper look to my eye and then I patted some concealer on the center part of my lid and then I set that concealer with the cream color shadow matte shadow in that same palette and I'm just going back with the previous brush to make sure everything is blended now I'm using this nice little shimmery shade it gives it a nice little sheen on the eyes so I thought that would help that cream color to pop a little bit more and now we're starting on the face so I'm using the Believe Satin Finish Foundation in two shades Chestnut and Mocha I'm using Chestnut in the center part of my face and Mocha on the outer parts of my face and I've been liking to use a uh, flat foundation brush to just put on the foundation and then my beauty blender to blend it out that way I can have especially if I'm using multicolor foundations or concealers I like to place them where I want them and where I want them to start and stop 
and then I just used the sponge as a way of just blending it out making sure that there's no harsh lines on my makeup and then once I do this I am gonna go with the Believe Cosmetics concealer in two shades and I am just going to apply those to all the areas that I would like to highlight and give a little bit more dimension. And also I want to let you know as usual all products will be listed below along with any links that I may have for other websites. So always, always, always make sure you check that out. So I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder in the shade Deep to set all of my highlighted areas and I like to also set my brows to make sure they don't move or they're not shiny. Then now I'm using the Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Black Coffee just to set the other areas of my face and now I'm just applying that burgundy shade from the Believe palette under my eyes and then just brushing away the setting powder on my brows. And then I'm using the Juvia's Place blush palette and I'm using that purple just to give my contour areas a little bit more of a pop. And don't worry, I don't actually look purple just you just want to make sure you just build it up but don't build it up too much and then I'm going in with that Juvia's Place Warrior I believe it's two Warrior one or two and I'm just using that also as contour for my forehead and to go back over that purple shade and then I'm just defining the contour with the same loose setting powder and doing putting it on the center part of my nose so I'm using the Maybelline mascara and then I'm using the primer below just to make sure that my lashes at the bottom pop and just sweeping away the setting powder with a little bit of the black radiance press powder on the brush or what's left Now this part is optional. I'm just defining the nose bone right there where my eye bone and nose meet, if that makes any sense. And I'm just defining that. I'm not trying to make it smaller or anything like that. I'm just defining what's already there. And I'm just using a blending brush just to make sure that it's blended. And you definitely want to blend it up into the brow just to make it just to define that area and take it from basic to defined. And now I'm just going on top of that lash primer and defining the lashes. So I'm using the Goddess Finish Believe Beauty um, lashes and you guys, I absolutely love those lashes. Oh my God, they are so pretty. And I love the feel of them also. And then now while the lash glue dries on my lashes, I'm just doing my lips using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. And I'll have the shade down below. And then I'm using the Believe Beauty Cream Lipstick. 
And I'm just going to put that in the center part of my lip. Yeah, and off the of camera, I just went ahead and put on my lashes. And I'm going to wipe away that setting powder on my nose. And then I'm going to set my face. And put a little highlight on the nose just to define the nose contour. And yes, yeah, sis, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you share my video, share my content, follow me on my social media platforms, which are listed in the description box below. And I love you, babe, so much. And I thank you so much for your love. We're almost at 100 subscribers. I wanted to reach 100 by last year, 2019, but it's okay, boo. We in here, we slaying, we ain't letting it bother us, we dancing, we grooving. <laughs> and I hope to reach many more milestones this year. Yes, it's period. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.